Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Arsenal. A lot of deals are close to getting completed, including adding Kete to Nottingham Forest. That deal is close to being agreed, as reported by David Onstein. What's the latest on Mikel Marino? Will it get done before the Aston Villa game? What's the latest on Aaron Ramsdale? This is one that I thought maybe might not happen because we, because we haven't really had any you know bids for um, Aaron Ramsdale, but it looks like it could happen. And then who will be his replacement as well? And then we'll also be talking about Leno and also another Another player that um, we're getting some money for um, this transfer window. So let's start with Edin Kete. This is what um, David Johnson has just reported. Nottingham Forest close to a green fee with Arsenal for Edin Kete. Nottingham Forest also progressing um, talks over 25-year-old's personal terms. Top striker candidate. Negotiations continue after £25 million offer rejected. Arsenal will want more um, towards £30 million to £35 million. Pounds. So David Anson has had this um, written um, on the article. Um, Nottingham Forest are close to agreeing um, a fee with Arsenal for the transfer of Edin Ketia, while talks also progress. The Athletic reported on Monday that Forest had seen an opening bid worth 25 million, including add-ons rejected, having identified the England forward as their top target to bolster their attack. Arsenal looking for a figure more in the region of 30 to 35 million, and negotiations continue as Forest pushed to bring Ketia to the city ground. The 25-year-old was ready to join Marseille earlier this summer, but the clubs were unable to compromise on a prize for a proposed switch. Um, Crystal Palace retain a long-standing admiration and have spoken to Arsenal, although currently they are not in the dialogue to the extent of Forrest. Nkete, who has uh, been capped once by his country at senior level, has scored 38 goals in 168 appearances for Arsenal. Um, he was a new sub in the in the Wolves game over the weekend. So yesterday, um, Chelsea, Chelsea have just sold Brogia to Ipswich for 30 million. How many games has Brogia played for Chelsea in the league and how many games has Nketiah played for Arsenal in the league and how many goals has Brogia scored for Chelsea in the league and how many goals has Nketiah scored for Arsenal in the league? So that is why none of you will ever convince me that we should be letting Nketiah go for 20, 20 million when Chelsea are getting 30 million for Armando Brogia, a player who's been injured for like... 11 months out of the last 12, he's been injured for like 23 months out of the last 24. He's never really done anything for Chelsea. He went out on launch full, I've never really did anything. Chelsea able to get 30 million for him. So, why should you be selling Eddie Kete for 20 million? I don't agree with that. We are going to get the money that we want or close to the money that we want. As I've always said, I'm happy to get even 28 million plus add ons for later. As long as it's a package of more than 30 million, I think that would be a good enough deal for us. And um, even if it doesn't end up going to Nottingham Forest, there's still going to be other that want him again as i've always said it's not just those teams that will want him crystal palace have mentioned um bonworth have been mentioned before nottingham voice have now been mentioned Marseille have been mentioned there's other teams that are going to come in for him and um he's definitely going to leave because people are worried about in is staying and us not signing a striker i think he's definitely going to leave we were told that um we we're not even just told we were shown these are his pictures and stuff getting cleared out from his box at the emirates stadium that kind of shows that he's definitely going to leave they're not going to clear it and then bring them back i don't think so, so Edin Kett is definitely going to leave Arsenal. It just, um, ma it all depends on how much money we get and uh, which team is going to end up in. That's not really a, a big deal for us as long as we get the 30 million, wherever he ends up to, uh, as ends up in, all the best to him. We just want our money, and then after that, we can progress in terms of making other signings. But Edin Kett here, um, Nottingham Forest close to agreeing a deal that is good news for us. Um, we are we have around nine days to go now, so we have to get this done quickly. I'm expecting a lot of deals to happen between now and the 30th, a lot of players to leave, and a couple of other players to come in. So let's see how it goes. But that's little on Edin Kett here. Let's see how that one goes. What's the little Mikel Marino? Now, yesterday there was breaking news on Mikel Marino. Um, Real Sociedad President um, Joaquin Apirebe, I think that's how you say it, Apirebe, has arrived in London to try and close the Mikel Marino deal. Um, Apirebe would like us to pay 40 million euros, including add-ons, while um, he's willing to accept the payment in installments. So that is good. I think that is what Arsenal um, would want, um, the, the payment in installments. Now, what Sociedad have done, at first they said they wanted 25 million, and then I think they've said they wanted 30 million, and, then, and now it's gone all the way to 40 million. Now, people do say that is not a good deal anymore. Fair enough. But um, the thing is, that's why I always tell you guys as well, when people say just pay the money, when you show that the other team that you can just pay the money, like if someone wants 50 million and then you just offer them 50 million right away, 
they can easily say, no, actually, we don't want 50 million, we want 70. The moment you show them that, yeah, you're ready to pay whichever money that you want, um, that they want for the player, they're going to add. And so, say that I've done this twice now, this transfer window, they are selling um, Lenormand to Atletico Madrid, the, the defender, and I think they. Uh, Atletico had to make like three, make three or four bids until um, until they got the player. For us as well, they've kept on increasing the price, and now it's up to forty million euros. But they are able to accept um, payment in installments. I guess that is what again will take a, a few days, or which has taken a few days to talk about as well. Um, how much you're going to pay them? Um, these installments. How many installments is it going to take? All that takes time, I guess. So um, we have to be patient with that one. Will he be available for Dustin Villa game? I think we'll sign him before that. But him being available for that particular game i don't think it's going to happen um good news declan rice is back in full training right now he was also named in the pfa team of the year last night uh, alongside uh, four arsenal other arsenal players so congr congratulations to him so michael marina the president is in london to complete the deal let's see how that one goes as well hopefully today's wednesday hopefully we get it done quickly because um yeah it has taken a bit of time it has taken a bit of time i thought it was going to be an easy one considering it was only going to cost like 25 million euros but no there's been um, a lot of changes from sociedad sides and Aston trying to negotiate it in, in, in terms of installments personal terms were agreed a long time ago with that marina wants to join Aston a long time ago Aston and real Sociedad have almost settled on a deal for michael marina 35 million plus 5 million that is in euros so maybe that three million pounds around on that i still think it's a good price yes he only has like one year remaining on his contract so in, in terms of that maybe not the best 28 years of age um I'm 50 50 in terms of that i still think the fact that he's a, he's a winner is one thing for spain is be he's a very experienced player just like a, like the trusted deal we signed trusted for around 20 something million the player can definitely help you. Now, is he going to be a regular in the team? I don't know. But is he going to bring more experience and more quality to the team? I think he is. Like, compared to the players that we've just let go, the likes of El Neni, I'd rather have Marino in that midfield than El Neni. Like, Marino can come into the team and play as a centre midfielder. He can play as a defensive midfielder. And the fact that he's, he's, uh, he's number one in terms of duels won last season in the top European leagues, top five European leagues, I think Atta would be ready to, you know, splash that money for him. So, again, let's see how that goes and the president is in london according to reports from spain let's see how that one works out now aaron ramsdale also let some aaron ramsdale i have not gotten to speak about it since um, this news came out a couple of days ago um david Anson reported that wolves have made um a proposal to sign aaron ramsdale from arsenal initial loan um initial loan plus buy option wolves would cover majority of 10 six year old goalkeepers wages acceptance at molyneux deal difficult due to finances involved but talks with arsenal continue so this is a funny one we wanted wolves goalkeeper uh, the Bentley guy that you offered like 50,000 for, but now they're the ones who want our goalkeeper. Interesting, I thought they were happy to keep Jose Sa. I don't know how that one is going to work out. Is Ramsdale really going to go then be a fast race goalkeeper? Is he going to be there and then rotate with Jose Sa? He really wants to go and be a fast race goalkeeper. Now, for me, let me make my um my feelings clear about this. I was very happy to keep all um seven of our defenders in the team, and I was very happy to keep both Ryan and Ramsdale in the team and focus on getting a midfielder, getting a striker, and getting a winger. That was my plan at the um at the beginning of the transfer window. But at the moment, it looks like Ramsdale does not really want to stay. He wants to go and be fast chase goalkeeper, which is fine enough. You cannot convince him to us to stay at Arsenal and uh, be a backup. Ray has just been nominated, um, like voted into the PFA team of the year. He just won the Golden Glove last season. He's just had an incredible performance against Wolves on opening day. I can see Ramsdale um, breaking um, ahead of um, Raya. And uh, again, I can't see him overtaking Raya in terms of the Arsenal team and project. I can't see it. So for him to get first team football, he has to move on. But how much are we going to get for him? I thought I was naive enough to think like the moment the transfer window opens, we are going to get a lot of teams wanting Ramsdale and, um, you know, a lot of teams being interested in Ramsdale. But one thing I was always sure about as well was um, you see, though I'm saying Ket is definitely going to leave Arsenal, teams are definitely going to come in for him. They have said Calafia is definitely going to join Arsenal. Marina is definitely going to join Arsenal. I've also said about Ramsdale that I'm not sure any team is willing to pay 30 million for him. That is a major problem. And I've said that since June. Will any team be able to pay 30, 35 million for Aaron Ramsdale? I don't think so, because teams are looking for strikers, midfielders. I don't think there's anything that is looking for, you know, a 35 million goalkeeper. That is um as a problem, especially considering it not play a lot last season 
and the, the two games that he played, he made a couple of mistakes. You know, will people be ready to pay that kind of money? He didn't really feature for England at the Euros. So if he had played maybe international football and then he's not playing for Arsenal and then people still get to see him for England, that would have been different. But the fact that um, over the last one year, people have seen him playing like three games or something, that, that is not enough. So his value kind of drops. Although I still think Randall is a very, very good goalkeeper. We are going to struggle to get that 30 million. So what can we do in terms of that? Well, according to more reports uh, from Sam C, Bournemouth are interested in a loan deal for Aaron Ramsdale. Arsenal want 5 million plus fee and majority wages paid. So we are kind of open to having the um, the loan deal, but I don't think Arsenal like a 100% guarantee like they want the loan deal. I think they also kind of want to sell him on a permanent deal as reported. But let's go to the loan fee as well. Um, Aso are ready to demand a six million lo loan fee to let Aaron Ramsdale leave the club. Aso have been keen to sell Ramsdale in a permanent move this summer, but interested clubs have been put off by the high asking price, be um, understood to be between 30 million to 40 million. Now, Ramsdale, before Rare took over his place, I think Ramsdale would have been worth 40 to 50 million pounds. But the fact that he hasn't played for a full year, his value has obviously dropped. But it's good to see Southampton one team, Bournemouth one team, Wolves one team. It's good to have some teams um, interested in him. Now, there's two, three ways you can go about this. You can just accept the loan deal with an option to buy. Maybe he comes back next season if those teams don't like him. Is that a good deal? I don't think so. Um, should we do it the way he did it with... Um, with Rare, maybe have an obligation to buy for those teams. I think the one for Rare was actually an option to buy. I don't even think it was an obligation to buy, but it was obvious that you were going to buy him. Maybe have Ramsey with an obligation to buy, you know, take him, and then next when he pay us that 30 million, whichever team he ends up, uh, ends up at, that is an option as well. Or you just sell him right now. You take 25 million or whatever for Aaron Ramsdale right now, and then you let him go. I think he's a very good goalkeeper. In terms of age and all that, I still think he's a very good goalkeeper. Alex Crook says Arsenal still asking for, for permanent offers for Ramsdale at this time, so nothing close with Wolves. The Gunners anticipate strong interest from a number of PL clubs before the deadline. So... That's fair enough. I wasn't expecting uh, even more teams to come in for him. Um, Bournemouth currently have a goalkeeper in Neto. Wolves currently have a goalkeeper in Sa, And um, Southampton currently have a goalkeeper in McCarthy, but he made a mistake on opening day. So let's see what happens between now and... Um, and the, and the 30th, I think a couple of other teams will come in for him, but I'm still worried that we might not get that 30 million. That is the worry, unless we have um, an obligation to buy for next season. Because right now, teams are worried about the, you know, the PSR rules and getting deducted points. Teams don't want to get themselves into that situation. Now, if um, Aaron Ramsey ends up leaving, we still do need a backup goalkeeper. Carl Hein has left Arsenal on loan. Um, funny enough, he actually just played against um, another goalkeeper that we've been linked to um, that I'm going to talk about next. They played against each other uh, the other day. Um, Okonko left Arsenal. We signed set for the knee guard, but those are like under-21 goalkeepers. So we still do need a backup goalkeeper. So despite signing three or four goalkeepers this transfer window we'll still need another one drop of that because we need a backup goalkeeper but how much is it going to cost us that this is where people have um gone crazy Arsenal are linked to Juan Garcia from Espanol, the Espanol goalkeeper, as Fabrizio says. Arsenal have already reached verbal agreement with Spanish goalkeeper Juan Garcia on personal terms. He is the priority for Arsenal to replace Aaron Ramsdale if he leaves in the final 10 days. Espanol are aware of Arsenal interest, but no official bid yet de uh, depends on Aaron Ramsdale. So we are kind of still waiting. If Aaron Ramsdale, Ramsdale does leave, we are going to try and get um, Juan Garcia. He's also um, linked to Liverpool over the last couple of days. Liverpool also want him. He's only going to be a backup, whether it goes to Liverpool or to us, so he, only, he knows he's going to be a backup, so it will be up to him. But the fact that he's like Spaniard and stuff, I think he will be um, joining us to so the fact that we also have um, a Spanish um, goalkeeper coach in Inaki and um, a, a Spanish goalkeeper as a first choice and a tete as well. I think that could um, convince him to join Arsenal. Um, but there's talks about this deal potentially costing up to 30 million euros because that is his release clause according to reports. So um, according to reports on how much he would cost us, um, we, we had this. So it was reported that Juan Garcia's release clause uh, rose from 25 million to 30 million euros on Thursday due to a contract clause. However, if Arsenal are going to move for him, we are going to negotiate that down to 15 million to 15 to 20 million euros, which is around maybe 15 million pounds. Now, for backup goalkeeper, it still seems um, I think that is the correct price for backup goalkeeper. You can't really get a backup goalkeeper for 3 million, 4 million. It depends on what you're looking for. Are you looking for a young goalkeeper just going to be proper backup for Raya 
18 year old 19 year old you know don't give him too many games and we just give him a couple in the carabao cup and then play right in every single game like man united do with donana or do you want um, a goalkeeper who's going to come and compete with Raya? Maybe it's almost same age, but not really take over Raya's position. But, you know, maybe play the FA Cup and play the Carabao Cup and play a couple of Champions League games. Or do you want proper competition, the rotation of the goalkeeper that I t- told us a few years ago? Or do you just want an older goalkeeper who has like two years remaining in his career? He's just happy to be a backup and bring more experience to the team. Depends. Now, we are going for goalkeeper who's, you know, 22 23 years old around there, i think is it 22 23 i think around there you play he won the gold medal with um spain in the, in the recent olympics so i mean listen it's it's a it's a tough one um depending on how much money you pay for him i think that is the correct price though i don't think you can pay anything cheaper than that because if Raya is not available you need your backup goalkeeper to be good that is why we'll need to sign a goalkeeper we can't depend on set for the nigger to come and play um if Raya is not available so yeah um that is the other goalkeeper that you're looking at can we still keep randil is he happy to stay until uh, at least january and then we start focusing on the goalkeeper i don't know i think though it would be better for him to move on because there's a lot of drama with this round and Andrea thing. We don't want it to go on for another season. Um, but yeah, that's the latest. In, in terms of Leno, I told you guys we're going to speak about Leno in this one. We are actually going to get some money. We've actually gotten some money for Leno. Also received $2 million this summer because Ban Leno and Fulham avoided relegation. So that was part of the add-ons that uh, we had when we sold Leno. So we'd gotten an extra $2 million there. And then we've also gotten um, a bit of money from uh, Mark McGuinness joining Luton from Cardiff um, in a deal worth 10 million when he left Arsenal a sell on close was inserted of 20 25 million um percent with this Arsenal could make 2.5 million if all add-ons uh tag all add-on targets are met so this these are the deals that uh we never really keep up with but um a shout out to everyone keeping up with it um, including daily AFC People don't usually keep up with this, but we are getting two million from the Leno deal from two, three years ago, and you're also getting two point five million from the Mark McGuinness deal. So that is an extra four point five million pounds, which is good news for us. But that's the latest. Um, that, uh, there'll be another video for sure today, and um, this is an early one because there's so much need to talk about. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch up with you guys on.